Hey, hey, Senor Jackson here. I'm hoping you guys are doing fine and dandy. And today we're going to be doing a little test, something that's been working for me, but I haven't really put a stress test to it. And also to show you guys that it can work. So what I'm going to be showing you is using a power tool batteries um, as a power source for a flash photography strobe. And yeah, let's get to it. So what I have here is the uh, Ryobi power inverter, 300 watt of continuous power, 40 volt. Um, power and what it uses is any of the uh, Ryobi's uh, power 40 volt battery powers I'm gonna be saying a lot of power in this video um, 6 to 4 2 amps and it, you know of course de depending on capacity that you have uh, you'll you'll be using that and it's pretty simple straightforward so the Ryobi power inverter what it can do is pretty much pr as I mentioned before 300 watts of continuous power which should be enough to power the Westcott FJ200s. So as you can see here, it has a regular three prong, uh, 120 volt, 120 volt uh, connection here, 2.5 amps of power, 300 watts right there. And it has a USB type A and USB type C connection. Uh, the type A, which is the normal one that, uh, the, the old one is uh, three amps of power. And the type C one is two amps of power. And of course, this is where you can turn on the flashlight. The battery's not connected at the moment. And this is where you turn it on. There's a little sticker there, but I'll probably just leave it there. And that's, that's how it looks like. Hopefully you guys like this top down, top of a uh, view. I'm trying to bring in some more new things to the channel. Oh yeah, that's the power inverter. And this is the, the six amp, 40 volt, battery from my Ryobi, Ryobi and it's pretty straightforward to connect it as you can see right there and right here this is where you turn it on and turn it off and right over here it comes with a little flashlight so let me turn it on and the flashlight Ooh. I don't I don't know if it can oh it can power be a bit more strong than the and the lights that I have right now Oh, and has the uh, three the SOS and all that other fun stuff. So that is pretty much it right there. Um, now, the little test that we're going to be trying to do is trying to see, well, it has worked for me. I have used this, um, this combination of powering up the strobe before, but I've never really stress tested because I've always used the, this strobe as more of a, I've used this more as a backlit uh, type of a strobe. So I never really had to have a full power. But I'm going to see if I can try to push it a little bit more today and see if it works. So I'm using the Westcott FJ200 with the AC inverter. So as you can see right here. Um, and see if this battery uh, combination can uh, properly use this. So let's get to it. So what I'm going to be doing here is just uh, connecting the power. Connecting the power to the flash strobe. So I'm going to be using the F, the uh, Sony, six, Sony 6400 um, with a, the trigger here, as you can see. And I believe it's on C that I usually have it on. And then I'm going to start just shooting. So I want to shoot it to the side. Let's see if you guys can see that. I'm going to do the test first. Looks like it can work and everything. So I'm going to bring in the Ryobi power here right quick. I'm going to show you guys something else as well. So there is a power indicator here. So. I don't know if this would use much power.
<coughs> after taking like over 100 flash photos. Not warm, still working. Still has apparently full battery. This feels warm, of course. But uh, yeah, looks like it's still working. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think, and if this is a good uh, alternative instead of buying expensive. Well, both batteries are pretty pricey either way. Uh, this six amp one, I believe, is about 150 bucks. Six amps. All I gotta do is just do, do the connection. I think the battery for this one. I'll put it up here. But either way, I know they're more than 100 bucks each. So, Ken and Ryobi get into photography business. <laughs> we'll see. Either way, I really like doing this little power co combo here because this also powers up, you know, a laptop or anything that just in case you're shooting outdoors and don't have a power connection readily accessible. So this really helps a lot and everything. And yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.